Before this video starts, I have some exciting news. You may have seen me wearing these Hello t-shirts and also the Hello College font hoodie. And I'm very excited to say my new clothing store is finally launched. You can find it at helloclothing.store, but you can also now use shovelhub.com and it'll redirect you there. I'm kind of trying to treat it like it's its own little clothing line and less of a YouTuber merch store, which is why we've got these neat little Hello t-shirts, which also come in yellow as you've seen, and this blue and in black. And we have the black college font Hello hoodie in regular hoodie form and in cropped. It's not cropped so short that if you were to take a regular hoodie and cut off the pouch, it'd be like here. <laughs> we also have college font Hello phone cases and a new shirt. It's actually gonna be in this color gray. The sample I have is on white, but it says grateful on it. And this is actually embroidered in a little navy blue thread. I am grateful for you guys for being so supportive all the time of me and everything that I do, so thank you. So that's it, merch is released, you can finally get it. I'm gonna be adding stuff all of the time. We're gonna have limited things coming in and out. These shirts will always stay. So visit helloclothing.store and let's get on with the video. Hello, I'm Shovel and welcome to my channel. So I tried doing this yellow eyeliner that I thought was a look, but as it turns out, it's not a look. So I'll never be doing anything adventurous with my makeup ever again, and we're not gonna talk about it. Today we are back on Qcraft. I mentioned last time that we're gonna switch back and forth between creative and survival episodes. So today is a creative episode. We're gonna tackle this tent. I had no other plans for today's episode. I knew that the only thing I really needed to do was finish this tent. I mean, not. It's not the only thing I need to do, but it's the next thing I'm gonna do because what I'm gonna do is fill the tent with chests and furnaces and anvils and crafting tables and everything that I could ever possibly need to live, except for a bed, because this, this is, there is no door on this, so I do still need a house. We're gonna tackle this monster of a, it's really only the corners. Something about it is not working out. <laughs> It's definitely not even, so that might that might come to bite me in the butt later. I'm gonna keep going in the way that I had been, and then I kinda just do that on all sides. Here it kinda comes in a lot farther. Oh, that doesn't work anymore. Oh, we found where it becomes uneven. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is why I haven't gotten around to doing this. Oh no, you know what, it is but it doesn't work out perfectly even between the sides. And <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna keep going. This is why I didn't wanna do this. This is why I was putting it off for so long. I knew that it was gonna come down to, to this weird, hmm. There we go. Oh. I fixed it. All right, we're gonna keep going. It doesn't work out exactly the same because this, I mean, I can make it though. Does that look, how did I make that happen? I just made it, I fixed it, I'm a genius. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna actually go around and do that on all the sides. Oh, and if anyone can tell me how to tame these hamsters, I would very much appreciate it. I really wanna tame and collect all these hamsters because that's what people are doing, but I, I don't know how, I don't, I tried looking up the mod and I couldn't figure it out. Also, once again, these episodes might be a little bit shorter and or, I don't wanna say brushed. I'm definitely putting in the time to make these things work. But I am prepping videos again for another trip that I am doing that I don't have a lot to talk about, so I'm not gonna talk about it until I'm there. But I'm prepping again to leave. Okay, so every corner now is even. Ooh, hello. I've been wondering where the snow is coming from because I haven't seen it snow this whole time. So now every corner is perfectly even. I'm not 100%. I guess now I just kind of bring it in. I don't really know. Oh, I thought I did something wrong. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do this on all the sides and come back around and figure out how I'm gonna close it, which should honestly be the easiest part. I don't even care how ugly it looks. I'm just so excited to have it done. Have I completed any builds yet? I don't think that I've completed any of the builds that I've started. Welcome to my channel, my name is Shovel. Okay, all the corners are now the same. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually am doing this. Um, so from here, I kind of just need to close the top and I can kind of do that however I want to. I can kind of like layer on the top once I've done that anyways, and kind of like do one of these. I think that looks good. I don't know how to close this. 
<laughs> this doesn't feel right. That feels a little better. That looks good enough to me. Oh my goodness. This was so big. Way bigger than I ever needed it to be. I did that. <laughs> I did it. I don't care if it doesn't look good. You know what? There might just be one little detail. Just like the itty bittiest thing. Just to make that look a little less stupid. Not that literally not a single person would ever look at it and be like, oh, that one block shouldn't have been there. It should have been like this. <gasps> How do I make fairy lights? I know we have them. I guess that's it. Um, these don't work, right? Do they work? Oh, I might just use the regular ones. I feel like it's a little too much yellow. Should be white. Although I might even go in and change the color of the tent just on like little places and, and try and make it a little different. I'm gonna keep it the way it is for now because I'm not touching this thing for a while. We'll have to find ooh, a lot of other ways. I'm probably gonna, just gonna have to shove a lot of torches in there. Okay, so I put torches all the way around. It really made a difference. Uh, I'm gonna put some more of the hanging lights. Should I do yellow? Cause it feels like a lot of yellow, but honestly, I'm not mad about it being so much yellow. Oh, I kind of want it to match the other side. If I go really far, <gasps> oh, that was fun. It's still really dark, <laughs> but why is it? Why is this one happening? Like, oh, okay, there we go. It's definitely a lot better. I even have just glowstone everywhere. I think I'm just gonna load it up with torches all the way around cause there's not a way for me to do it to make it look good right now. That's significantly better. <laughs> Wouldn't be in survival in here probably for a while. <laughs> that doesn't look right. <laughs> that just looks like a tightrope because it's literally fully stretched. I don't know if you heard that little sound. Okay, I put two little flags on it. <laughs> I don't know if it looks good or not. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a lot of different hanging light posts where there's gonna be a lot of stringed lights kind of stretching across in the front of the tent, across out here at the back. Don't know if this is gonna look good or not. This might be a bad idea, but we're gonna, we're just gonna see. I'll leave it like that. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Now I'm just adding details that just don't even make sense. But now it's got a little bit of light and color, at least changing some of it up on the outside. The inside has a lot of light and it has a little ring for doing like lion taming monsters. Lion taming and <laughs> probably get an actual elephant because there's probably elephants running around in the mod pack. I know that there are. In fact, I think in the last episode I called one of them a rhino by accident. So I'm thinking these will be food stands and I'm thinking on the other side will be game stalls. So these might end up being changed. Well, also what I'm gonna do with this tent back here, I might do this right now, is make it a fortune teller's tent. So I'm starting with a slab floor. This is 100% being made up by me because I looked up Minecraft fortune teller and not a, not a darn thing came up for me to work with, even as inspiration. So now I'm just looking up regular pictures of Google image fortune tellers and crystal balls. We're gonna try and make it in Minecraft. That's actually sick, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, okay, now what I did was use slab as a floor, so I'm gonna have to Get creative with our seats. Look at that, it's like, ooh, I made upside down stairs. It was not even, it was not even stairs. <gasps> Sick. Okay. I think that works for that. I don't even know that you need additional chair. You know what, I think that that's good for now. Okay, I've been playing around for a while. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think that I like it. I think this is a start. I mean, it, it looks spooky. I don't know what the inside of a fortune teller's tent looks like. I'm afraid that if I enter, I'm gonna find out that I'm gonna die. I'm afraid of going in these places because I'm afraid they're gonna tell me I'm gonna die. In fact, I had a fortune teller just unprompted out of nowhere when I was going about my business tell me that I was supposed to already be dead, so I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna end up having a secret way back here to go into an enchantment room. Is that cute? I hope that it is. I don't know what I'm doing. I want these to be game stands, but I don't know how to make that look like game stands. But we've got our food stands, sort of. It's kind of coming along. So we've got the, the basic inside of the big tent done. I'm gonna put bleachers around and then figure out the corners to have all the supplies that I needed to store. 
We've got our little food stands that aren't full food because I have to do that part myself in survival, which we'll probably do next time. And we've got a fortune teller tent. We need more attractions. I think I'm gonna do over here the game stands and like a Ferris wheel. We're probably gonna have a couple of moving wheeled carts that have animals on them. <gasps> wow. <laughs> It's cute. And if I did, I think pink. That's kind of neat. And then here's our fortune teller, which I might play with this some more. I'm not happy with this. I love the crystal ball. We're doing a lot of interior. Well, that's pretty darn cool, I think. Oh, I might go with different Lamp posts. I don't know that I'm super happy with the cobblestone ones. I kind of want to do something wood maybe. So I'm probably going to play with that. Yeah, you can't attach. My power went out again. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll come back later, I guess. Okay, that was weird, but I'm, I'm back. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to wrap this up here soon. But what I wanted to do real quick was just a couple of extra things. The sort of bleacher seating, which is gonna be on either end of the tent, leaving all of the sides open for me to use as I want. Okay, so these are the sort of bleachers that I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna double it up and I think I'm gonna move it back. I think I got it one block too close. Okay. It's a little bit dark, but I mean the whole thing's kind of dark. I put a little bit of, a little bit of light on either side. These are the same bleachers that are in the same. <gasps> when did it get dark? We have audience seats now. I don't know that there's a way for me to put you guys in as NPCs. I don't think that we have something. No, we don't have, <laughs> we don't have that on here. So I can't unfortunately make you guys be little NPCs. All right. I think that that's all that I'm going to do for today. It's coming together. It definitely needs a lot more work. I think I'm gonna clear out some of the sides of this because I kind of want to barricade it in somehow, maybe on one side, have a full-blown train. Barricade, like being the, the fence of my area. I don't know, but I like, I like where we're going. I love all of the lights. I think I need to make some strings of lights that are alternating colors, but that's in the next building episode. Next episode is gonna be just survival so I can get food to actually fill my, my tense with. That's gonna be it for today's episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!